So today I'm going to talk about my sun hoodie. There's a million companies making sun hoodies and I've had this one for about three years and the Arizona desert's tore it up pretty good but it's still very functional. All the seams are good. Really the sun has really bleached it out in some areas and so I thought you know I should just buy another one or at least have one waiting in the wings and so I started studying them because I thought maybe I'd buy something else. This is a Montbell cool sun hoodie it's called and uh, I really like it I, and it's got a you know a half zip which I use all the time. Uh, I've noticed like on the Florida Trail I noticed a lot of people wearing sun hoodies now and some of them are really tight so in the hood there's a really kind of tight to the face and I like mine that's you know it, the air can get in here if I've got a bad wind I just have to switch my hat up here to hold it on and then you know if I want to tighten it up you know if it's cold or if for any reason I want to tighten it up I can just use my uh, buff as kind of a neck gaiter and uh, put it here and you know it'll tighten right up uh, the only thing I didn't like about him is got thumb holes so it can protect my hands when I want to in real you know a lot of Sun uh, I wish that it had zip pockets here in this kangaroo pocket because I you know I carry you know this buff sometimes gloves in these pockets I'm always afraid I'm gonna lose something out of here it's pretty loose but I do have my waist belt around here, so, you know, I, I, I haven't lost anything from it. But um, when I looked at all the others, this is poly. Uh, I see a lot of them are merino. I don't know what advantage that is. I just know that I can wear this when it's 80 degrees in the desert and I'm still pretty cool. You know, it's my only layer at that time. And... Uh, so if it ain't broke, don't fix it, <laughs> is kind of my uh, theory. But I, I did read a few blogs, and there was one called Jolly Gear that I'd never heard of. And I looked that up, and uh, their colors are a little bit too loud for me. And, and when I saw it, I thought, oh, I've seen those. Like at Billy Goat Days, I saw a couple people wearing those. Um, I'm, I'm a little more stealth than that. <laughs> so... Color wise, I don't care. I just wanted a muted color. I, I just, so what I did was I, I bought another Mont Bell only because it looks to me like maybe they are changing their design. I'm, I may be losing these pockets. I really couldn't figure it out, but these were on clearance actually. So I've got like 25% off my new one and I'll just have it because I don't want to have to go looking for another hoodie that meets everything that I need. A lot of them don't have this zip. Uh, this I use this all the time. It's very important for me to have this zip. Uh, I, I use the pockets all the time. I use the thumb holes all the time. Most of them have the thumb hole thing. I mean, that just makes sense. And, uh, you know, I don't need a long tail on it. Um, people ask me, does it stink? Well, you know, I don't smell myself that often. <laughs> but uh, it probably does. Uh, uh, I walk hard, I probably stink. Uh, you're only gonna get a garment that's gonna keep stink away so long, I'll guarantee that. Anyway, um, just a short video today to say that I bought this Montbell cool hoodie. I bought a second one and uh, I'm very happy with it. You know, you have to do your own studying and figure out what you want for uh, clothing and layering. The other thing is uh, uh, when I am layering, I usually like in a cold morning, I'll start out with this on and then I'll put uh, this Patagonia puffy, no hood on. And if it's really cold over that, I'll put this black uh, Patagonia puffy over the top of that with a kangaroo zip pocket. But again, the heat's in the hike, so usually before the sun even comes up, I'm uh, peeling, you know, I'll peel this. You know, the, the other thing is, not with this hood, 
you know, I, I have no problem hearing, uh, even though I'm deaf in one ear, uh, this hood being loose, um, whereas a hood like this in the morning, I don't hear a lot of things because I'm kind of encased in this and the material's rubbing on the side of my head and I, I hate it. I like to hear what's going on around me. I don't have a problem with this hood at all. I wear it up all day long. Uh, but when I lose this in the morning, all of a sudden I get my hearing back. Um, but again, you just have to do your own due diligence, figure out what works for you. But you might want to consider all those options when you're looking for a hoodie. Keep smiling.